So, you've clicked on this video. Good for you, welcome to hell. First things first, we are not speedrunners, and this speedrun was not properly timed. Our time is horrible, and you've probably already clicked off this video. Disclaimer, this video contains extreme retardation. Whoa, that's... This what is am I about to see? I feel like I'm being deployed into like... Oh. where we are! Back up! Back up! Back up. <laughs> Please stop! Guys, he's attacking me. He's attacking me. You are an idiot. It's actually spreading. Holy crap. It's actually spreading. No, stop. 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 I'm going. Whoa! <laughs> and just like that, we had a long night ahead of us. Cricket and I had gone straight to get wood while Chespin worked on getting a chicken farm for making arrows later in the run. Ah, uh, no, I used my- oh, that was stupid. Escaped, I swear to- dig a, If you dig the hole in the ground, they shouldn't have escaped. <laughs> I would explain everything how they escaped. Luckily for us, we had spawned in a plains biome and had pumpkins right next to us. Also in the area was a ravine and a village. The village was significant because we had planned on using beds to damage the Ender Dragon. The villages were also significant for getting bread and finding brewing stands early. I have food in my inventory, I, I just need to get over there. I have been getting food, because I assume one of you had it. Well, I you see, the chickens food, take like 20 minutes game. to grow up. <laughs> That's like the most morbid <laughs> thing you could have ever said, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so if anybody asks, I never died in that ravine, it never happened in any footage saying so is faked. The server we used was a public survival server prior to the speedrun, so Jacoby had seen us playing and wanted to join not knowing what was happening. So what did I do? He doesn't have Overwatch, so he can't join his chat. I pardoned his ban, and we let him join the speedrun as a last minute entry. From now on, we wouldn't be allowing anybody else to join. With our newfound house, we slept for the first time since starting, and things would only get more intense from here. This is gonna be pretty gay, but I'm... <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> but yeah, we are, we are speed... Well, we're not really speedrunning, we're just seeing how fast we can beat him. So we're Which going, is speedrunning. Jacoby made a tall black man angry by looking at it the wrong way, and it teleported inside the house, allowing us to kill him. Get him! Beat him up! Beat him up! Don't hit me! Hashtag Black Lives Matter, am I right? Unfortunately, it didn't drop anything, and this certainly wouldn't be the last time an Enderman left us empty handed. It, okay, it, it, I'm back. It kicked me once too. Well, it well I banned you. <laughs> yeah, you got oh. banned. Cricket and I worked on getting a cow farm going, allowing us to get stuff for enchanting later in the run. In need of flint, obsidian, and materials in general, we decided to go mining down the strip mine Jacoby recently made. However, obsidian wasn't our only find. So oh, is that a- is that stuff. what I think it is? Mine. Is that a- yeah. I'm coming well, to you guys. <laughs> There's water right there. I found some diamonds under this water, but I don't have a Ooh, pickaxe. I do, I do. With that, we had more diamonds to add to the pile, and a brand new enchanting table. It wouldn't be long before taking on the nether. Who has a diamond they don't want? Singular. I will pay out the nether. I will literally gift you Ukrainian ball. <laughs> what if I already have it? I will literally give you Bentley. The first. Enchanted. It's named Bentley, man. You could go enchanted, Chespin. That's a blast. It's person. named Bentley. You know enchanted. I don't want to enchant. I need to save my enchantments for Bentley too. And you don't get a diamond? <laughs> Why do you want me to enchant? There you go. Now give me my diamond. I've given you Bentley the okay. first. Okay. Sharpness, I think two. With Bentley now on my side, I started building a cobblestone wall around home base and made the Mexicans pay for it. We're gonna build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. Oh That's a creeper in main base. Oh, it's aggro on me. Chill. Be chill. Kill it. All right. In my attempt to convert our gravel to flint, I made a big tower and broke it down using the torch method. Unfortunately, what I didn't know at the time is that doesn't actually give you any flint, it just gives you back gravel. Stop, you're wasting your time! You're wasting your time! I, we gotta make the flint for the arrows! <laughs> you haven't noticed. <laughs> Chespin volunteered to go on a suicide mission through the portal so we wouldn't all die if something went wrong. 1 a.m., but I mean, now we're gonna Don't jump out! Don't jump out! Don't jump out! Immediately from the lava! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! It's a good thing he went oh, first. That's, that's concerning. <laughs> <laughs> Take this cobblestone. I want you to try and make some sort of platform as you go in. <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. Lady, you got it. Ladies first. You know the rule. Uh, Alright, I'll go first. Oh my... 
Heavens above! Oh, ho, ho. Whoa, that's, this what is am I about to see? I feel like I'm being deployed into like... <laughs> oh. Where we are. Actually, no, let's just double it down. <laughs> <laughs> the spawn location of the portal was actually rather nice, as it let us easily bridge out where we wanted to go. While looking for the fortress, we found some bone structures, which became useful for growing large amounts of food quickly later in the run. After hard-fought searching, we located the nether fortress and press onward to find the blaze spawner. Jump, I'll catch you. That's okay. <clears throat> Alright, drop in, boys. <laughs> Thanks, Tom Brady. You saved my life. I, I like how all right. we're all going in here. For... Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna take him out. He's an annoyance. Hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> there you go, Tom Brady. <laughs> After grinding the blaze spawner, we debated on whether or not we should break it. I really don't know why it even got brought up, but I'm really glad we didn't, because later on we would end up short on Eyes of Ender. <laughs> Chespin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we, did we destroy it or we keep it around? What Let's we keep it around in case we need it. Right about here is probably the point where Chespin starts losing his sanity. He started going on about a hoglin that he named Boris. Boris came after me. Okay, so wait. Who where... is Boris? <laughs> You'll see him when you come back. <laughs> oh no. Boris? You're a no! in here. He freaking died! Oh. Just... Not <laughs> wait. <laughs> and this is only the beginning. We're going to be seeing Chespin's mental state decline further. While trying to get back to the portal, I got into a fight with Chespin. Which was pretty stupid considering if I fell off, I would have lost a majority of the blaze rods. It's the <laughs> <laughs> backer, one of you's gonna die. I mean it, 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 I'm not kidding. Back up, back up. <laughs> Please don't, guys. He's attacking me, he's attacking me. I almost fell off the edge. <laughs> At this point, we thought it was going to be easy sailing. I mean, we did just get the blaze rod, so all we need is ender pearls. Sounds easy, right? Well, little did we know what the next couple hours had in store for us. Over a night of grinding out endermen, we managed to rack up six eyes of ender in total, enough to find the stronghold. Yeah. Yep. Hey, yo, where yeah, my I'm horse at? Go. Where my hoss at? So, my yeah. hoss. Keep the top looking for the hoss, please. <laughs> I tamed it. It has my saddle on it. Oh, did You're it go through the nether portal? Hold on. <gasps> oh, no. It did! While the other three continued to try and find Endermen, I would be heading out to find the stronghold in hopes that there would be some eyes already in the frame. You're you know, awesome. screw this horse, it's actually like useless. I'm gonna go travel by foot. <laughs> on the way there, two broke, another one somehow got lost somewhere in a tree or broke without me seeing it, and two got sucked into the ground over the stronghold location. I also hit two villages along the way, which net us a lot of bread and beds for the Ender Dragon fight. Some 1500 blocks away, I broke into the stronghold and located the portal. And wowee, not a single eye was in the frame. At this point, we were basically back to square one, and we wouldn't even have enough blaze rods to make 12, meaning we would have to go back into the nether again. If Cricket had broken that spawner, the run could have taken who knows how much longer. Each level of protection essentially protects you from half a heart of damage, which is just enough to edge yourself a bit farther on uh. <laughs> yeah I know after a long journey back home I found a much faster alternative route to the stronghold it probably wouldn't have mattered which way we took but it was nice being able to go over water for most of it Big found dress. the base I am back boys using the books I got from the stronghold library we built up the enchanting table and cricket got a looting one enchantment for farming ender pearls Enderman time boys okay I'll stop grabbing my penis let's do this uh, two ender pearls okay that's nice Cricket continued Enderman hunting, while me and Chespin went back to the nether to get more blaze rods. The Tripsy wants you and Chespin get back, we need to sleep. So Why don't we, we sleep in the nether? Storm. That would be pretty fun. We made it back with little complications except for my game lagging, which would pose very problematic at times, as you will see later in the run. The game hasn't loaded for me, I'm stuck in place. It's not letting me sleep, my game's lagging so badly.
So remember how we were in the nether and I mentioned how Chespin was losing it? <laughs> Why did you light the base Fire on department. fire? <laughs> you are an idiot. It's actually spreading, holy crap. Fire it's department. actually spreading. No, stop, fire stop, stop. The cows, no. <laughs> also, oh Cricket, look, I surrounded the portal with <laughs> 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 hey, listen, I almost did it. I almost. <laughs> He's gone insane. It's not funny. The base is burning down. It's completely burned down. Cow is on fire. <laughs> there's, a, there's a cow on the loose. <laughs> That's a funny thing. Boy, I can't. That's a creeper. Thriller. The chessman you once do is gone. What remains? <laughs> Melvin? <laughs> <laughs> no. I could go on showing every little bit of madness, but honestly I can't be bothered and I don't want to drag this out. In short, after lighting the house on fire, he started non-stop laughing over a meme and questioning why he made a shovel. By then it was time to go enderman hunting, but wait, it doesn't end here. Butter. Okay. Calm down, Water. man. Water. <laughs> Again, I could go on with it, but he just keeps laughing his lungs out at water and other inanimate objects. In the meantime, Cricket died to an Enderman and had to go AFK, so I took his looting one sword and continued the hunt. No Endermen were really showing up, and the sun was rising, so we started talking about going to the Nether. A terrible mistake. Yes, have gone. <laughs> Boris, I'm gonna find another Boris. I'll be back. A major issue with going to the Nether is that we couldn't really find a warped forest, so we just ran around until we either found one or an Enderman spawned. There was also the Boris massacre of 21. <laughs> <laughs> he approaches. We're... No, Chelsea, no. Chelsea. No kill him, get the- I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Well, you idiot. <laughs> what did you- how much did you just lose? <laughs> the piglins started attacking us, so we had to run back to the fortress where I dug a hole in the side of the netherrack. Meanwhile, Cricket attracted a Black Friday mob of piglins above me. Oh. Mine into the wall. Oh. Uh, my pickaxe no. broke and I'm inside the wall right now. Um. There's- I accidentally aggroed a Pikmin. Uh, it's a flood above you. You're- oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many! This was a mistake. I- Help me out here. I'm- I'm- I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. They are swarmed. I got swarmed. Since so much was at stake and we had to get there before the items despawned, I ran straight to the fortress with nothing in my inventory. Yeah, uh, I'm dead. See? Oh, where's your stuff? Where's your- It- Well? Between both of us dying, Jacoby who knows where, and the time it took to find the stuff, only Cricket's gear was left. Yes, yeah, so it looks like all my stuff despawned, but your stuff is here. Great. At this point we were all defeated, and considering it was going on 3am for all of us, we were pretty tired too. Our strategy would need to greatly improve if we were to make progress, and as it was our time had dragged on for far longer than it needed to be. We'll be right back after a message from today's sponsor. Have you ever been sad? Huh? Why are you in my house? <laughs> Have you ever been sad? Mm -hmm. Lost your car keys and couldn't find them? Uh, right here actually. Your mom said you couldn't play video games until you get your homework done? Jimothy, no video games until you get your homework done. Maybe you got fired from your job. <laughs> <laughs> Even though all these things are probably your fault due to your inability to function in today's society, there is one solution. If you're ever feeling down, just remember that watching a Tripsy video <laughs> might just make your day. For real though, if you've enjoyed the video so far, share it so other people can enjoy it as well. I had a really fun time making it, and a lot of work has been put into it. If funny moment and highlight type content happens to interest you, make sure to check out the rest of my channel, as that's normally what I upload. Anyway, back to the video.
Throughout the following day, we brainstormed ideas on how to go about the Enderman hunt. Since the stronghold was in a desert, and the desert is one of the easiest places to find Endermen, we decided to pack our bags and set up a new base within the stronghold. Of course it would take some time to set up our inventories and actually go there, but in the meantime we had to worry about getting out of the nether. Oh my gosh, Tripsy, you are, uh... What? You're lagging something fierce. You're on fire, at least you were on fire. And you're oh. dead. I'm in the nether fortress. What do you mean I'm dead? You're what? Dead. You're dead. You okay, don't. that wasn't even my fault. See what I mean about the lag becoming an issue? Yeah, just That's get out of there one. before no, you get... Man. Just get out of there before you... He's dead. Jacoby never managed to get his stuff back, and the lag was so bad that I would never be able to find my stuff even if I knew where it dropped. So we just moved on and got ready for the stronghold. Ooh, two Endermen! On the way there, we found more Endermen more easily than whatever we were doing before, and any Ender Pearls we couldn't get along the way would inevitably be found in the desert. After finally arriving at the stronghold, we set up base in a nearby room, and continued getting ready for the final fight. While waiting for nightfall, we did some piddly stuff like making arrows, but we would still need six Ender Pearls to light the frame. Around this part, there probably isn't much but monologue until we actually go to the end, but we did get a couple more eyes at nightfall, and we used up the bone to make bread. What are you doing down there? Oh, I, I need to take my sword. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, so I was like, waiting for you to go through here and then I would sneak attack you. But, um. I don't think that one's gonna work, man. While fighting outside, Jacoby died without a spawn point at the base. So oh, I'm sorry, Jacoby. You... I was gonna come and help you, but. I'm back at the village. Fuck. Kill it. Did it drop? Dropped. Two dropped! Good, I think that's all we needed. With the final eyes in hand, all we had to do was make final preparations and wait for Jacoby to come back. And, uh, oh yeah, about Jacoby coming back. Or, what? uh. There's a skeleton! There's a. <laughs> <laughs> How did he get in there? How did he kill you? <laughs> did you set your spawn? He did it! <laughs> Didn't. I didn't get it on camera, and I don't remember it too well, but I'm pretty sure a skeleton made its way into the base and shot Jacoby Road as he got there. Could be wrong though, since it's been over a month since recording. And after waiting for Jacoby to come back a second time, our past five and a half hours of work would finally pay off. Yeah. All right. Are you ready, hey, gamers? Alright, boys. I don't want to move because I don't know where we are. I almost fell off. Once we got in, we worked on taking out the towers, which took a little bit of time and a couple deaths. Okay. I think there's one more tower left. Since I wasn't used to third person and also holding crouch for some reason, I struggled to set off the bed. And then this happened. Touch it. Ah. Touch the bed. I'm going to Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and here is probably the most disappointing part of the entire video. Remember a little bit ago when I mentioned the lag would be an issue later? Yeah, well, the lag caused me to miss the end of the fight. Oh, you did it. It. Also, you won't be seeing the counter stop in the upper left, because me being an idiot messed it up. It came out to roughly 5 hours and 30 minutes, but it was never timed properly from the start anyway, so it's not like it matters. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the run. I scrubbed through what was left, but it was just us screwing around, and my internet was having such a big stroke that it wouldn't be worth showing anyway. The ending was a little unfortunate because of the lag and Jacoby having to mute, but in the end it turned out alright. We might do another speedrun at some point in the future, but for now, our adventures end here. Even if this video doesn't get many views or a lot of watch time, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. And with that, I'm out.